Okay. Marble Date Residence or the hospital? Let's go see the kid first. Maybe she'll come with me to the hospital? <laughs> Nitiri. Hello. <gasps> oh! Hitomi Sagan, Iris's mother. Yes, but why? Yeah. Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Suki, what are you doing? What's it look like? Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. Well, way to go, damn. Holy shit, though. I received a <laughs> message from Azuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. It's so she weird that they earlier. actually let you do it. She got a Nile message from someone. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I huh. apologize for coming over without asking. I mean... When I started talking to her, Mizuki re-racked the weight. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Me? Well, not exactly you. Right. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you tell me about who told me? I couldn't. Why? It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. What? Yeah, your dad's What's in the wrong hospital. with daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. We'll tell her. Freaking... <laughs> You're just gonna not tell her? Alright, whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. <laughs> I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. You can be her mom. She needs a new one. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> it was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. You just said, My dad's never said anyway. anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. 
Blue uh -huh. Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Uh -huh. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So you pulled it out. Yeah. So this After happens Otoreno. here instead of... Yeah. In the sink sounds? room. Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Hmm... X-ray, excuse me. The arm, maybe? But that's a little intrusive. Um, how'd you get it talking again? You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held hmm. her? She needed a hug. I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard that's her how say, teacher. And we then did it in the original. Cry. As you in can the see, first she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. <laughs> yeah, because we hugged her in the original take. And she cried, and then she was able to talk. <clears throat> oh, she at school. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a so perfect disciplinary record. So funny how nice she record, is. But she's a good girl. But she's record. so mean to me. There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. <laughs> Another time, she punched him so too. hard that he chipped a tooth. <laughs> Sounds like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy. And just like Renju. Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but... Right. He described you as a relative. How he didn't want to freaking take care of her. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation <laughs> to me. Mizuki lives here with me, but I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. It was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. Okay. Is it just coincidence that you're Mizuki's teacher? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here. That's right, a district elementary school. <clears throat> Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. Hmm. They even moved to get into my school district. Wow. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes. But I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. 
officially, Mizuki lives at Renji's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Hmm. Was Shoko's left eye on the ice pick? I don't uh. think so. Her eye socket was empty? <clears throat> yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. No. It was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Come on, that can't be an, a normal option. That stuffed animal, it's Mizuki's favorite character. What's its name again? <coughs> yeah, that's Anna Rabbit. You gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. You don't have to tell her that. I'm sorry? She can't hear you. <laughs> Remember, Tate, you're this all This is a alone. nice sound system. Oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. Only. Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. Oh! You did what? Ah! <laughs> you little shit. Why didn't you say something? <laughs> Do I really have something to? catches my eye. Hitomi's right shoulder. Use the x-ray. Why? You'll see. Mm. Skeleton. That's... Oh, there's a plate. A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh. Then why can't she use it? Pardon oh. me for asking, but. Does it bother you? No. Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Huh. Was there an accident or. I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died and... Aww. Anyway, the story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. He was carrying a gun. Except that's not him. From the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. <laughs> the cow's retro. <laughs> a dream I saw. Summarize it for me, please. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. All right. Oh, okay. Let me guess. He's gone. He's not here, as you can see. Right. I haven't been able to see him at all. Where is he? He snuck out at night. 
Great. So that means he is dead. Snuck out. Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. Mm. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital, even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. Iva, call in this gate. Roger that. Lemniscate Entertainment Offices. Let me hear your message. Thank you. What kind of employee training do they have there? Oh my god! Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renji. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry. No clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the Maid Cafe. Maid Cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renju was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw, like, a secret party or something? But with the accident and all, still, he might be there. Yeah, and he's dead. <clears throat> he runs Lemnus Gate as well as that mad maid cafe. All right. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. Maybe I should have went to marble first. Oh! Yo! This Welcome is different home, too! Sea King? <laughs> sea King? Oh! <laughs> is this your first time here? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Oda. Jeez, kid. Excuse me. Oh, sir! Oh, oh, wait a minute! <laughs> Date? What is that ice cream scoop in this weird green glittery ass drink? <laughs> oh, my rights! Delicious! Thanks, oh my god. Uh, hello. By the way, I didn't introduce <laughs> myself yet. <laughs> I'm Konami Dante of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. There we go. Okay. Oda. You regular here? Sure am. <laughs> I come here whenever I've got time and money. Sure. <laughs> I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think. But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. Oh, right. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home, so I bought a new one. <laughs> a new what? A phone. I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Right. You, where's Renju? No, he never showed up. Oh. Well, when was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. 
He's just the owner, not the manager, so... He comes sometimes, but not all that often. Well, they... What's in the box? The severed bottom half of a mermaid. What's in the box? You could have just said the tail. <laughs> severed bottom half. Have you seen Renju? No, haven't seen him. Dang. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? Yeah, a little bit. The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? She switched it back to her maiden name. Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body. You ran I away like a beach. Left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. <laughs> I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why did I do that? You oh, got is it skirt. Up inside, Ota? Aww. Yeah, seriously. What? Uh, of course, they feed you what? <laughs> oh my god. Oka. While you're sitting here adding up your options? <laughs> god damn it. Oda! But you can order too, Date. I don't want to be fed. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. <laughs> It's What's not a spear. spear. It belongs to Poseidon, god of the sea. Yeah, it's a trident. You know, a trident. Why I mean, I know. <laughs> we treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> Except it's true. <laughs> it's more like a way to exploit their vanity. Mm. To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That sounds even worse. Yeah. Why are you here? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Then why are you here? Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning? Yeah. I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming as usual. Uh -huh. And I didn't watch the stream like I said I would. From her living room at home. But suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go. I'm kind of nervous. It's been a while. Hmm. Got it. I'll try my best. That's for what? Here's my debut song. Oh. Let's hit it! <laughs> so it's gonna break through that door. And take her! Mr. Polar Bear, perhaps? Huh? Who could it be at this hour? Is it Dante again? Why would it be me? Sorry, everyone. Why did the music stop? Something came up, but I've got to go for now. I'll oh, see you guys next time. Oh, great. Bye. Sing the rest. You didn't even start.
When did the visitor come? One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Sounds like Renju. Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? And then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Hmm. Tessie used to work here. She made a lot of friends. Hmm. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls, too, but no one knows anything. Iba, call Iris. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. No way. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, prophecies are simply <clears throat> not possible. Hmm. I don't know. Something wrong, sir? Yeah. Uh, no. Something's nothing. wrong. I wonder if Tess is okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. <laughs> don't even start with me. I can barely eat. Takes another bite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a dork. You look like you can eat just fine. Yeah, you sure do. Oh my gosh. I need to leave. Beer tab. Hey, Ota, buy me a drink? Why? Because beer tastes better if someone else buys it. <laughs> you don't have to yell. <laughs> Date, Renju is not at this location. So let's go. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah. yeah you're right. Marble! Ah! What the hecky? <laughs> Chris! <laughs> the ooh woo. <laughs> all right, all right. I get it. <laughs> Next art stream is yours. <laughs> I'll thank you, by the way. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Dante. Long time no see. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. <sighs> About Shoko Nadami, Ren's yeah. ex? A little bit. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. <sighs> <laughs> so... Have you seen Renju? It's been a while. Mm, I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? I told Mama about the accident. And about how he disappeared from the hospital. Oh no, really? Riri! Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. Yeah, yeah. About Shogo. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. What's that? No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Oh, right. Right, right. This, it's a scam. Yeah. It's a big pyramid scheme. 
They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... The Kumakuras killed her? Gangs! I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shogo did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. How have you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? <laughs> I don't see you around here much anymore. It's pretty messed up. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Yeah. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows. <laughs> Sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight. You remember that? Really? Oh, yes. You don't oh, remember? Yes. Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Yeah. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. <laughs> he blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Hmm. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. <laughs> Who was the new lover? Ren was so happy. He showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. That's it? That's all you're gonna say? You're not gonna tell me who the lover is? That sounds like your kind of, uh, expertise there. Hmm, <clears throat> that's unusual. Water. Not a bourbon. I'm working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I drink at work all the time. <laughs> I bet you do. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up. You <laughs> make people throw up the truth. That's it. Mama spends her time running the bar, but she's also full of secrets and confidential information. Drunk people tend to not be too careful with secrets and rumors. You know how it is. So a place like this is perfect for gathering information. Whether it's politics, business, entertainment, even crime, Mama knows it all. Whenever I get stuck in an investigation, I can see her. <coughs> Well then, let's go. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. Gang they have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yep. Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. Oh, it will. Kumakura. <clears throat> Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? <laughs> Ugh, I hate to right, these bye chunks. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> Why do you call me an old man? 
you back! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? Oh, yes. The first time the F word is shown. Kind of infuriating right now because we know the climax. I wish this shit wouldn't have made you do this shit first before letting you get so far. Right. Um. But it's also like, it's like a different timeline because, uh, Renju got put into a car accident and went to the hospital first, and then escaped. Um. But yet they're still missing him and the girl now. I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. Oh, damn. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. How? Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. I make a wish, will it come true? <laughs> that is not Shenron. <laughs> Do you know anything about investment fraud? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, cop. sure you do. I'm sure you do. You must have gotten some bad info. <laughs> you're full of shit! Don't know nothing about her. Don't know nothing means you know something. That's a double negative, sir. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. <laughs> what? The chairman. The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. That can't be right. <clears throat> the chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. And you could have told me that sooner. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide. Sure he did. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago. Mm-hmm. Fuck no. Why would we do that? Date, look at this. <laughs> you killed our- I'm kidding. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Oh. Red hot lie. It appears that way. Yeah, because your bro did it. Well, no, your bro didn't do it. A bro freaking shot uh, Hitomi. How do I get him to come to it? And put the other guy in jail. Remove his fingernails one by one. <laughs> Gross! Ew! Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Don't have one. Not that I know of. Let's examine the room. <laughs> Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. <clears throat> yeah, that one. The fat one's holding his stomach in pain. <laughs> I 
there's an ashtray. Skinny one, he's completely out. After 40, your toenails grow slower. Well, that's an interesting motto. <laughs> what? That's different. Twenty-second, go to the zoo, see the pandas. <laughs> Ima, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is off. <laughs> I wish for panties. <laughs> That's a Dragon Ball reference. I told you that's not Shenron. <laughs> Cause in Dragon Ball, in order to keep <laughs> in order to keep um the oh my gosh. Emperor Pilaf from uh making a wish, Oolong stepped in front of him and went, IN A POWER OF PANTIES! Hmm. Sofa. Do you think that pulls out into a bed? What would be the point of that? <laughs> do your stupid heat scan! God damn it! Why do I have to play this game? Wow, that's a big <laughs> flying squirrel. <laughs> that is a tiger. <laughs> Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel. I'm a fight. I got nothing to say to you. <laughs> Kniff. The kind that knifes nicely at night is. It just might. What? Stop. <laughs> there would be no point in talking to him in that state. Just kick him a little. It's fine. Another one. safe behind the crest there is something inside <laughs> I recognize that it's just like the one I saw at Matsushita diner an aset figure correct but why is that there unknown but perhaps hey you wouldn't happen to be a fan of aset would you <laughs> what who's that liar a schoolgirl internet idol probably you know one what I'm of the talking buffoons about. over there Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. You're never being a pussy shit like that, you fucker. <laughs> Except he is. <laughs> uh, shadows. Shadows. Threat. A silhouette. A set. <laughs> Water. Water. Wait, uh, sweat. He said, he said, you bet. And fears. Fears. Upset. Uh, regret. He said. <laughs> what a dork. Boss, what's this? <laughs> Sh shut up. <laughs> Look at me. Get out of here. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> I said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Embarrassment. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fat one drags the skinny one out. Now. <laughs> if you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Your got friends it. are gonna. <laughs> They're gonna let it spread. 
Oh, right. Do you have an alibi? Which about? about Rohan? About Shoku and the Conquerors. Okay. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. <laughs> anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Okay. I believe you. Mostly because I know who did it, but... Uh, Renju. No point hiding it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. About his disappearance in the hospital? Do you hospital? know where he is? Nope, sure don't. <laughs> it's not like we keep in touch or anything. Right. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. <clears throat> What about Rohan? Rohan was my older brother. Uh -huh. He was my big brother in this organization, and Oops. but he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. Why was he hospitalized? About twenty years back. Both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. Oh. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. Weird. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Weird. Date, a he can from see, Oma. but... Like, his eye functions, but his brain doesn't register that it functions? That's so weird. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Yeah, he was. Uh huh. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior <clears throat> hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. Hmm. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. Hmm. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan okay. suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. Hmm. He became cold-blooded. Oh. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato ah. peel to him. From the toe to the thigh. Ah. Totally Gross. blank expression. Like he was scraping bonito flakes. Oh my god. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? Wow. He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. So he... he had, like, no feeling. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. The bears. When was he hospitalized? About six years ago. Of course six years ago. 
I bet you that guy fought back. I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring hey. us all down. Yeah, the other one coming clean. He didn't give me the details, but... I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Mm-hmm. Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing <clears throat> about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. He didn't shoot the guy. He shot Hitomi! A few days later, cops busted him. Uh-huh. Prosecution Sheila. tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. <laughs> Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. <laughs> oh my god, Retro! <laughs> Hey, Moma, I've got a favor to ask. <laughs> Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? <laughs> and your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <laughs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAT. Wh what? <laughs> I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. <laughs> need anything else really us kumakuras are a branch of the ujisaki family right the ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament golf mandatory attendance we were all at the tournament those days we only got back this morning you can ask the hotel they'll tell you date i did some research the hotel's record of guests does list the kumakura members they were also seen on several surveillance cameras it is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. Mm. How did you know? You're hiding an A-set figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I have x-ray vision. appear to be unrelated to the investigation. Right. It's still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAP fan. Really? Yeah. That information might come in handy later. Blackmail! Let's go somewhere else, Iva. We got what we needed here.
Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. running away? Commissary. I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shogo's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. Sorry, I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. <laughs> In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. I still cannot contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Hmm. Are you worried about her? I mean, Yay. yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki's Somnium. Iris's body. Frozen solid. Yeah. The frozen is because they're in the freezer. <clears throat> That's where she dies. Six years ago, I lost my past. Names, addresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. The earliest memories that I have of me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shingoku. Or Shinjuku. Until a good friend gave me a hand. Uh-huh. Come with me. No. To where you belong. Belong. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Ibis. Abyss. I keep saying Ibis. A year later, I was called into the control room where Peter or Pewter showed me something extra. The official title is AI Ball. You may Iba! call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Birthed. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. <clears throat> it's been five years since then. Five years and a number of tough cases. But... This time is different. Do I really have to make you do this? Scream. Ghost! God damn it. I have been here for several minutes now. <clears throat> yeah, we had full on conversations, but you know, the game made Could me do it. Could you not come out like that? <laughs> Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. Why are you stupid? I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. right. Duh. But returning to your She answer, already said that before. Why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. You are a pervert. You can't... <laughs> You can't save yourself, not after what I've seen. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. Do it. Do it! Go around and find out! No balls! You won't do it! No balls. An AI never lies. <laughs> you are lying right now! So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct <laughs> in my eye do socket? It. Your skull would pop like a balloon. Do it. Do it. Why do you even have that function? 
My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software. I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Okay. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. Because you can't hurt me in the process. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. Oh. You have such authority. Let us determine a code number. One that will activate the detonator. Oh. Command 41205. 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. <laughs> no, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. Yeah. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes. As long as the server is alive. How'd you come up with that number? Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. <laughs> Weird. <clears throat> About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Aiba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date. The line is connected. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Uh... Shoko's phone. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then... Dots. You want me to call with Shoko's voice? No! Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one who can. It's true. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. All right, Hal. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. It, it's connected. It's ringing. She's nervous. I thought you said you didn't get nervous. Uh, uh, uh. Calm down. Deep breaths. <sighs> what breaths? Wait a minute. You don't breathe. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. So I'm saying. Focus. They're going to hang on. <laughs> um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Yes, I died two days ago. 
idiot. Why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name. Get his name! How? Tell me I have a package and need his address. Ask, are you a Yamada? Ask him if... for his name. Accuse him for being an imposter. Huh. <coughs> Package and need his address. Shit! What do I do? Hmm. Yamada. Who's Yamada? Is this Yamada? No, this is... Say it, say it! Are you sure you have the right number? Can't be. How did you get Shoko's phone? No good. Quick, think of another plan! Uh, imposter? You're an imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am So Sejima, the congressman. A politician? Sejima. <laughs> Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh... Sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. <laughs> Why so? <clears throat> Unknown. But that was definitely So Sejima. She. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. Oh, snap. Two days ago, he called Shoko. Why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? Yeah, good job. Is that all? Yeah. What, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no, nothing like that. Yes, you do. Tap my fingers against my left arm. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! <laughs> rub, rub, rub. Stop! <laughs> the nerve might break! <laughs> Just rub my eye, that's fine. <laughs> Date, a call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? Mm -hmm. My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Okay. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. Oh, right. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And you'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. Take the offer now. Not later. Ooh. This has to be a prank. It's not a prank. That's what I thought too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. <gasps> it's not a prank. It's just a prank. No. Well, to be sure, look into number eighty-nine. Roger that. But for now. So, Sejima. <laughs>